What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. Today's video is going to be about the hookers in Tijuana, Mexico. There's basically two types of hookers in Tijuana, Mexico. You got the street girls and the club girls, the girls that work in the clubs. Now, I'm going to go over everything guys, from the prices you pay to the services you get. I've been getting a lot of emails on this subject. People have been asking me a lot of questions. This is going to be a great video. I'm going to answer all your questions. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button at the bottom of the screen if you haven't already done it. Let's get down to business. Okay guys, first and foremost, I want you to know everything I talk about on this channel is about the legal red light district in Tijuana, Mexico, also known as Zona Norte. It's completely legal. I don't own a club down there. I don't have an interest in anything, but I'm just going to pass the good information to you guys. All right guys, here we go. If you've ever been down to Zona Norte, you'll see these working girls lined up and down both sides of the street with these platform shoes on. When you walk past them, they go, pss, pss, bueno, and they'll pull at you, and they'll, they might say something like, sexo, diez dólares, or sex, twenty dollars, or doscientos pesos para sexo. They're going to proposition you from a price anywhere from, let's say, ten to twenty bucks for sex. And you're going to think, holy smokes, wow, that sounds cheap. Well, it's cheap for a reason, guys, and I'll get into that later. Now, let's skip to the club girls. Let's say you walk into one of the great nightclubs in Tijuana, such as the Adelita Bar or the HK, which is the Hong Kong Club, or the Chicago Club. You're going to see a beautiful girl there. She's going to quote you anywhere from $100 to $120 to go upstairs to the hotel. Now, you say to yourself, why is the club girl a hundred dollars you can negotiate it down a little bit but for the purposes of this video we're going to say the club girl is a hundred bucks and the street girl is twenty dollars or thirty dollars and i'm going to explain that guys in the nightclub you're basically paying for the whole girlfriend experience you can sit down with her you can dance with her you can talk to her you can drink with her you can eat with her you can buy her food, you can buy her flowers, you can buy her teddy bears, you can take selfies. You can do anything with her, okay? You can take her upstairs, smash and dash, take care of the business you have to take care of. And when you get upstairs, for the most part, guys, there's no qualms, there's no fighting. She's going to treat you as nice as you treat her. You can change positions, you can do different things. You're going to be in a nice, clean room, air conditioner, TV shower everything's very sanitary everything's protected she will take a shower it won't be necessarily as rushed as normal it would just probably be a good experience for the hundred dollars that you spend now back to that street girl that said hey bueno, psst, twenty dollars sex though all right what's going to happen with her is you're going to go to a room that's probably going to be dirty nasty um, it's going to be cheap. Maybe there's no air condition. Maybe there's no running water. And when she gets in that room, if she's got like on a sh short skirt, probably all she's going to do is lift her skirt up, move her panties over to the side, and be a dead fish. Like what fun is that, right? If you wanted to do that, you'd stay at home and bang on your wife. I mean, holy smokes, TJ's supposed to be fun. These girls are supposed to be fun, right? So. As you start talking to the street girl and you're like, hey, but no, I want you to take off your clothes. She's going to say, oh, well, you didn't say that outside. It's $20 for sex, but it's $10 more if you want me to get completely undressed. Oh, it's $10 more if you want to change positions. Oh, it's $10 more if you want me to take off my shirt. No kisses. You're doing it too hard. You're doing it too fast. Don't get so close, all right? Every single thing you do with her is going to be a $10 or $20 upsell. Position changes, taking the clothes off. So very fast, that $20 that you just spent, I mean, you change position a couple times and you have her remove a couple articles of clothes, you're up there at $60 or $70 like that. Now, potentially a way to avoid that is negotiate all that stuff with her on the street beforehand. But good luck with that, guys. That's this girl's hustle. It's kind of like the old saying goes, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So if you're walking down the street in Mexico, in Tijuana, Mexico, in the legal red light district, and a girl says, hey, psst, sexo, 
you're probably going to get burned guys okay you're not going to get the same thing for the ten dollars as you would or the twenty dollars as you would if you would have went to let's say the Adelita bar or the Chicago club and paid one of their girls okay you're not going to get the same service for 20 bucks as you get for a hundred dollars now I know there's always going to be people saying oh Luke you know uh, I have a street girl and she did everything for twenty dollars okay hey more power to you dog why don't you make up a YouTube channel and talk about this shit what I'm doing guys is I'm spreading what is the normal information I'm not spreading what happened one time four years ago or what can occasionally possibly happen I'm telling you normally you're gonna get way better service from a girl at the HK or at the Adelita bar for eighty to a hundred dollars as opposed to a street girl for twenty dollars there's always an exception to the rule but more times than not you're gonna run up on the upsells you're gonna run up on a dirty room you're gonna run up on a lot of bullshit on the street okay come on guys a Lamborghini cost more than a Volkswagen for a reason the girls in the club cost more than the street girls for a reason okay so just know that now a lot of these girls that choose to work on the street simply work on the street because they don't want to talk to you they don't want to dance with you they don't want you to buy drinks for them maybe they don't speak any English at all it's a different atmosphere okay it's a hundred percent different atmosphere it's a hundred percent different customer different clientele all right different strokes for different folks all right now let me say this too as far as hygiene goes in Zona Norte anytime you get a girl from the HK or the Adelita bar or the Chicago Club you're gonna get upstairs to the room nine times out of ten that girl's gonna take a shower nice tile shower hot water she's gonna get you in the shower with her it's gonna be a good experience right it's gonna be a pretty cool deal whereas when you get in with these street girls a lot of times the water doesn't even work in their room the toilet might not work there might be a bucket there okay and she might just get some wet naps and wipe herself off I mean hey I know some street girls that I used to live in Zona Norte and I used to know this one street girl she lived on the corner of the hotel that I lived in and she used to tell me sometimes she went upstairs with as many as like 14 15 guys in one day all right and if that's what it takes for her to make two or three hundred bucks that's the way she wants to do it whereas the club girls can go upstairs with two or three guys and they can make their money that way okay so guys smash that like and subscribe button the red like and subscribe button if you hadn't done it already I hope I answered your questions the difference between the street girls and the club girls why you might want a street girl why you might want a club girl that's up to you watch the video think about what you want figure it out now also hopefully after this video you understand why some girls choose to work on the street and some girls choose to work in the club different strokes for different folks guys you know for every price level in Zona Norte there's a customer all right all right boys if you hadn't done it yet smash that like and subscribe button if you're new to this channel my name is Luke I lived in Mexico for 17 years Tijuana Zona Norte guys all I talk about is the legal red light district in Tijuana Mexico which is a place where prostitution is legal much like Amsterdam Thailand places like that guys again I don't own any clubs I don't have an interest in any of this stuff at all I'm simply spreading the good information to you that's all I want to do is pass good information at this channel any questions you have about Mexico let me know and until next time this video has been a one take Drake no editing no stuttering no screwing up until next time boys we'll see you down the road